And now I give the floor to the Speaker of the House of Commons, United Kingdom, John Burke. And at the same time, I remind the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Malaysia, uh, Pandika Amin Mulia, to get ready. Please, Mr. Speaker, I give you the floor. Madam Chair, fellow speakers, parliamentary colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, freedom from discrimination, respect for human rights, and a continued pursuit of equality should all surely be defining characteristics of the world our peoples want us to build. Consistent with that aspiration, there have since 11 o'clock this morning in this general debate been many very proper and pertinent references to human rights and equality, but no such references thus far whatsoever to the human rights of and equality for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered peoples. And I put it to the Interparliamentary Union that if we believe in our hearts as well as in our heads in human rights and equality, we have to have something to say about the continual denial of the human rights of and equality for lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgendered people in so many parts of the world. Let me just cover two features of this subject. First, in the United Kingdom, my own country. We have much to do. I am not complacent, yet I am proud that in fewer than 50 years, we have gone from the criminalization of a type of love to the legal fact of complete equality for lesbian and gay citizens. In the bid to be a more representative assembly on behalf of our people, the House of Commons now has 32 openly gay and lesbian members, roughly 5% of the totality of our membership. And since I became Speaker, I have judged it important to create a series of workplace equality networks, including a gay equality network, Parley Out, to stand up for the interests of and give confidence to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgendered people who work for and in the service of our Parliament. Equality means equality for them too. Yet even as we speak in more than 70 jurisdictions around the world, it is illegal to be gay. People have been criminalized. People are arrested. People are incarcerated. People are punished in the most bestial fashion. And people who are gay are sometimes even subject to sentence of death. That is degrading. That is demeaning. That is dehumanizing. That is a denial of what it is for that person to be who he or she is. And in supporting the IPU and the many vital campaigns it runs, I leave you with a cry from the heart. Don't neglect the rights of an equality for the LGBT communities. They matter too. Their cause should be our cause, and their cause being our cause cannot, should not, and must not be swept under the carpet. If we believe in equality, if we believe in human rights, if we believe in inclusion, let us practice what we preach across the board and stop discriminating against millions of people around the world for the way they were born and how they love. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much, um, Mr. Speaker, for your intervention. Now